I will touch upon some of the more common criticisms of this direction, along with what we, those of us that identify with this in a very sincere way, are likely to expect as this direction gains more attention across the world. I think it's really important we come to terms with the inevitable hostility, if you will, that arises when we broach the deep-seated subjects that we do. It's important to remember that we're all victims of culture, as has been pointed out by previous speakers. And while many people are indeed coming to terms with the growing social problems and do see the Zeitgeist Movement, the Venus Project, and the resource-based economy as a viable solution, there are also many that have a very, very powerful identification with the current model and in all seriousness view our work as an extreme threat to their identity and it's something that unfortunately I think will grow. My goal with uh, part three is to not only address very common criticisms uh, and speculations that uh, come up regarding what we just described and all the other materials that we have, but also to use those points to further communicate some other important issues of a resource-based economy. But before I begin, I think it's important to discuss something that's very important to me that I see rising uh, in the community, uh, on, the, on the internet, uh, in my own personal experiences and, and interactions with people, and that is the issue of violence in communication. Needless to say, we're all victims of culture on one level or another. That means we've been influenced and groomed in certain patterns of thought by our environment. And one of the cultural staples of modern society, unfortunately, is the use of verbal violence to support one's position. And sadly, I don't know anyone who doesn't impulsively engage in this from time to time, including myself. Calling people names, you know, might not seem as offensive as physical assault, but the intent is essentially the same. The intent is to injure, to dehumanize and humiliate. Verbal violence is just a different degree of physical violence. In fact, I, I'm a firm believer and do, have done a tremendous amount of study on the work of Martin Luther King and Gandhi and all of, all of the initiators of the nonviolent communication movement. The goal of nonviolent communication is to try and leave the door open for others to enter if they choose to do so to unconditionally invite them to accept you regardless, regardless of how much they actually hate you and wish to injure you on whatever level. Easier said than done, but it really is the only effective method. I state this because the nature of our work in the Zeitgeist Movement has become a magnet and will continue to become a magnet for various levels of assault. Think about it. Uh, all of us that are identified with this. We're here telling the world that what they're doing is wrong at the basic level of operation understanding. We're here initiating a global change that exceeds anything attempted in human history, as far as I know. A radical shift away from everything the majority of people on this planet have come to identify with. So hostility is not only expected, it's inevitable. And it's very important that we all be prepared for this intellectually and emotionally and have great patience and understanding and know how to behave accurately, if you will. Thank you. And in conclusion, I'm going to end with one of my favorite quotes of all time. The old appeals to racial, sexual, and religious chauvinism, to rabid nationalist fervor, are beginning not to work. A new consciousness is being developed which sees the earth as a single organism and recognizes that an organism at war with itself is doomed. We're one planet. Thank you.